I'll try out this 50 kilowatt CCS charger. 50 kilowatts would be perfect for overnight charging if you're parked somewhere for 13 hours, but it's not working and I can explain why. Here we have the charger and you can see the output is 500 volts. While the fast charging station next to it has 500 amps or 1000 volts output. There are two types of battery packs, 400 volts and 800 volts. 400 volts is the standard that's been used in most electric vehicles over the last few years, while newer EVs and these newer trucks like my Ivoco have an 800 volt system. However, that doesn't mean the batteries always operate at 800 volts. That's just the maximum range they can reach. When the entire pack of the Ivoco is discharged, it is at around 630 volts and can then rise to 800 volts. With a 400 volt system like the Volvo FM Electric, the maximum is 400 volts. And when it's discharged, the cells are at about 230 volts. The charging station with 1000 volts can charge trucks across the entire voltage range, meaning it can charge the Volvo at 230 volts and the Avico up to its maximum of 800 volts. But the 500 volt charging station can only charge trucks up to 500 volts. So while the Volvo can be charged because the cells max out at 400 volts, the Ivico, when discharged at 630 volts, exceeds the 500 volt limit of the charging station, making it unable to charge. So, what are the solutions for 800 volt vehicles to charge at 400 volt stations? There are two options. For Porsche and Lucid, a DC booster or DC-DC converter is installed, which steps up the charging current from 400 to 800 or 1000 volts. However, this solution is quite expensive and inefficient. For Lucid, it only works up to 50 kilowatts, and for Porsche, the maximum is 150 kilowatts. So it's really more of a workaround. Another option is to lower the voltage level. A 800 volt battery pack can be split into two 400 volt packs by reconfiguring the wiring. The new Porsche Macon or the Tesla Cybertruck can reconfigure the cells to make it appear as a normal 400 volt system for the charging station. Still, I should mention that the Volvo FM Electric is the best selling electric truck and has a 400 volt system. One could argue that 800 volts is better, but it's not that simple. The Volvo was purchased by companies that had a three-phase socket, allowing them to charge the truck with minimal infrastructure costs at 50 kilowatts, which is only possible with a 400 volt system. I think that's also one of the reasons why it sold so well. For a logistics company, it's important to know the architecture of the trucks and which charging stations need to be set up at the depot. And when it comes to trucks, it's clear that they need 800 volt systems to take full advantage of the infrastructure because you're talking about much higher charging needs. But for passenger cars, if you calculate 500 amps at 400 volts, that's 250 kilowatts. With a flat charging curve, it is more than enough. So 400 volts is not bad or outdated. It is actually very robust and works everywhere.